compound semiconductors really enhance the capability of traditional silicon devices. Compound semiconductors are one of the most important high-tech materials that we currently have. There is a need for training in semiconductors and in particular in compound semiconductors in order to make sure that the UK in particular can maintain its leading position. You find them everywhere in every sphere of, of technology, telecommunications and many technologies as well for the future including net zero technologies will be reliant on advanced compound semiconductor technology. So through the Henry Royce Institute, we provide uh, equipment and facilities to UK academics, companies and industry in material science. And through essentially the training programs that we support at Royce, it helps our technology platform leads uh, get their message out, widens the awareness of the kit and facilities that they have, but also helps students, researchers and companies make the most of that equipment when they come to the Royce to use it. Uh, this course is a practical training course on uh, clean room skills. Uh, it brings together the facilities here at the Bragg in Leeds, but also the, the Royce partners in Cambridge and also collaborators at CISM Swansea. Clean rooms are absolutely fundamental to producing um, devices, technology that we use in everyday life, but also to developing new processes to make next generation and generation after next technologies. The training we're offering this week will allow researchers in both academia and industry to experience what it is to make a device from a plain material. The device we're making is a field effect transistor, it's a high electron mobility field effect transistor and this gives them the opportunity to explore new processing capabilities that they may not have experienced before and to develop their fabrication skills. Fabrication skills are crucial to industry and academia alike. This course is going to provide plenty of benefits for me, so uh, skills like working in a clean room and all the equipment and processes that I've used today are processes that are used in industry now. So if I was to do a postdoc or if I was to apply to, say, a company doing semiconductor materials, then these skills are highly transferable. So actually clean room training is a very good uh, technical skill set for a technologist uh, point of view. So here you can really learn the real background, how the things work and how the materials are being fabricated and what are the challenges. I think it's a very basic need for every technologist who are going deep into their uh, field. So there's a lot of very strong research activity in the UK across all universities looking at semiconductor devices. But as a researcher working on a small structure and trying to show a new effect, what I'd like to know is how we actually make devices you actually would sell and use as a customer. And for that, we need to link university research with companies that actually market those devices. And the link to CS Connected from the Royce Institute allows the fundamental research to be translated into industrial application. I think the course is really important because it's teaching our next generation researchers what is needed to take a material and make it into a device which will have a purpose, whether it's to make more efficient electronics, a new communication system or a new medical device. Anybody that wants to work in semiconductor manufacturing or indeed in research uh, will need these basic skills to be able to function. I think the importance of this particular training uh, is really the hands-on experience. Just going into a clean room and actually taking a device that you've designed and then to understand the various processing steps that turn that into something tangible that can be measured and you can then translate that into how that would perform in a gadget of the future.